just to hang them up. I really want to get back to doing Cookie and Courtroom. I want to get back to the drama and the tea. I miss it. I don't want to have to do another video about my makeup. Do you want me to talk more about these channels? Because I feel like I've addressed most of them in one place or another and now it's at a point where people can either take it or they can leave it. Because some of the stuff that's going around, like, I can give a valid answer but if people don't understand it or people think they're educated in the topic which they actually don't understand I don't know anything about service but I know that what I've said is valid do you know what I mean so I honestly just feel like it's like arguing with a brick wall I feel like the people that critique me most of them are honestly thick as shit I know that sounds really mean for me to say but even if I give them a valid answer they have something in their head of what they want to believe and so there's just no point so I really just want to focus on my normal videos and make you happy I've realized being away for it for, for yesterday and meeting Tizzy fam and stuff I've realized that none of you care like if I give you an answer you understand it and you believe it because you're intelligent like and if it doesn't make sense you'll question me but you don't go over the same thing like it's, it's people that don't like me or people that are desperate for views and adsense that will literally make something up and continuously regurgitate it so I want to do videos for you I don't want to do videos for random people you know I would say your family but people that that leave hate on every single video and stuff like that I would say they're fans you know they're definitely fans they tune in for every single video they always give me engagement you know so the people say hate is another form of love and I agree because if you really don't like someone you don't pay attention to them but it's pretty obvious that there's a lot of people on the internet that do really like me but they just decide to turn that into hate and I think it comes from a place of internalized hatred on their part and that's okay I have to be charitable it's annoying but I don't have to moderate my own videos do you know what I mean like it's me so I don't see any of it to be honest with you like I see my comments nasty abusive people on Instagram and stuff like that like I physically don't see it I have moderators so <laughs> keep wasting your time you can always tell that the really hateful people are miserable like they're never happy they're never smiling it's always like just angry and upset people whereas titty fam like I've yesterday I went to this event okay and I was I was very grateful to be to go to it and I, I met a lot of really cool people there but Everyone was so sweet to me and so lovely. And whenever I get abusive comments, it's always like, I don't want to sound like a bitch, but it's always like ugly people that like don't really have any friends and they're sat on the internet behind like fake pictures and that doesn't really bother me. Like, like titty fam, whenever I see every titty fam, they're always so pretty and we have the most beautiful smiles. We come in all different shapes, colors, sizes, but we always have this like same feature where we're just like you can just tell we have like a warm heart and a good soul whenever i see like a titty farm on the street like i was in the train station yesterday and i bought something from boots and titty farm behind the till was like oh my god hi and i was like ah and same with the event like when titty farm ran up to me it's just the biggest smiles and there's so much love i'm very grateful i don't want to talk too much about this i know i keep saying that but i i want i feel like it's good to address things sometimes and it's good to give you an understanding of what's happening with me and what my thoughts thoughts are because I know that I often don't explain them to you and then it doesn't make any sense you're like John what are you doing like this is me trying to explain my thought process to you about like if I'm gonna do more videos about this or not bother because at this point it's stupidity you don't really have words like the amount of love that I, I, I receive is honestly overwhelming and it's 10 times more than any negativity the only reason I have to talk about the negativity sometimes it's just because I want you to understand whenever you see it but I literally get an overwhelming amount of love and support from you, whether it's physically in the street or whether it's on the internet. And it honestly warms my heart and it means the world to me. So, because these rumors are so stupid, like it's so easy to shut them down. Like, like you find a website that has 150 pigments, you pick three of them and say, oh, he's private label from this website because they have a purple shade and an orange shade and a burgundy, obviously private labeled. Like it's, it's literally the work of like people that are thick as shit. Like, honestly, it's like the biggest reach. And if I did this in Cookie and Court, I know that you would roast me you'd be like really John that's the best you could come up with so I feel like I feel like you understand and you know and I don't want to keep going in circles so this is me explaining everyone was literally so sweet to me yesterday like I, I went by myself completely by myself I turned up dressed up ready to go as soon as I walked into the two-faced store this girl ran to me and we took pictures and we hung out all day uh, all day what was the evening we hung out for like two hours and then met her friends and met her friends and the whole time at the event I felt like all of these social media people were around us and they were all like friends everyone was smiling everyone was so pleasant and so polite and genuinely so friendly and people were just saying like we love your channel we love how you spill the tea and like we love how you keep it real and i appreciate that like i know i get a lot of abuse for it because i piss off people's fandoms and i get that like it's obviously going to come with the territory like i'm not satire i know that we have fun but i do do investigations and we do pick things apart sometimes and that's obviously going to piss people off and sometimes i think people some some people like i think our content is quite intelligent and sometimes people don't always understand it because it is sometimes quite advanced in terms of critical thinking 
and then they can just go off in their own little place to do with that. But I just wanted to say thank you, like the the love that I receive is overwhelming and it makes me so so happy to just know that I have friends, like honestly, like you know, it honestly just means the world that I know I can walk into a room and I know there's going to be people that think the same as me that are just genuinely lovely people. I always used to think when I was younger, like what if people wore like tags on their arms to show that they were bitchy or friendly and approachable so you knew who you could just talk to on the street but now it's different now it's like it came to life but even better because people just walk up to me and say hello to me and I know that they're instantly like a fabulous person and you just see in their eyes they're so friendly and they're so happy and they love the tea but they're not some hateful bitch like they don't watch hate channels not interested in that they literally just watch me get the tea get the tea ready and that makes me so so happy that I'm surrounded by people that is similar to me. It really does. And I'm sorry that I've spoken over the past few months about negativity and stuff like that. I, I, I really want to just focus more on my content and not explain things. And I know that's going to get more haters, but I'd feel like I'd rather do that and keep you happy because you're the ones that I want to make happy. And I did want to talk to you. This isn't the first like event with a brand that I've been to before. It doesn't change my opinion. It doesn't alter the way that I'm thinking. Cooking, my loyalty will 100% 10% always be to you and not to any other person. I was very grateful to meet Gerard, um, the CEO of Too Faced yesterday. We got a picture together. He invited me to the party. It wasn't their PR team or anything like that. Like he asked for me. Um, and the same thing with Revolution. You know, I was invited by the the CEO of Revolution. It's not because they want me in their god box. It's 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 very friendly and it's very nice. And, but it doesn't change my perspective, and they know that and they respect that. And I think that's why certain brands like talk to me. Like to be honest, most brand that we talk about in our videos I know either the owner or someone high up and I have their number like I've spoken to them before and it's not like they're giving me tea or they're giving me a story but it means when there's a scandal I can contact them I've spoken to most big brands that we speak about or we have spoken about I've spoken to like someone at the, the upper end of them and we're you know, Gerard and Jeremy, the two owners of uh, Two Face, were so sweet to me yesterday they were really nice to me um, and not in like a like a social media Oh my god, how are you? Like, it wasn't like that. They genuinely was so sweet to me. Elise as well, from their their global makeup artist that's always on their Instagram. They all gave me a hug, they all gave me a kiss on the cheek. They were so genuinely friendly to me. Because I stuck up for Gerard. Um, a few 